What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. Uh, I got this video topic from uh, Kicking It With Q on YouTube. I just want to go over the outside of the truck. Roughly, if you want your truck to look similar to this, this kind of style. What it entails and pricing-wise. Um, it took me about, I think, two years to get to this, to this level. Um, this is a 2020 LTZ 2500. HD uh, Duramax. Um, unfortunately, everything on this truck comes chrome. Um, so you got to do a lot of paint matching if that's the route you want to go. Um, not cheap. So we'll go over wheels first, wheels and tires. Uh, this is a 22 by 14 KG1 Trident um, wrapped with a 35, 13, 50, 22. Um, that is a Venom. Terror Hunter XD. Um, wheel and tire setup is about six grand. That's with the billet KG1 floaters. Um, everything on the truck, well, I'd say 95% of the stuff that's painted on the truck is done by Peach Bottom Auto Body out of uh, Peach Bottom PA. Um, everything's been sanded, smoothed, and painted. Mirrors. All your fender moldings, um, your valance, uh, the front and rear bumper are usually chrome. They were sandblasted, which is the right way to do it. Then painted and cleared. Um, your Chevrolet badge in the front, fully painted. Um, all the paint work, I would say, is roughly between forty-five to five grand. I'd have to look at the receipts, but roughly about there. All right, let's go over headlights, factory headlights. The only thing we did was open them up. We took the amber lens out, put a clear lens in, sealed them back up. Um, headlights are about five to five fifty to do that. Obviously, if you want to paint them or do anything in the inside more, obviously the cost is going to go up. So you're looking at about five to five fifty just to open them up switch the lenses out. As we'll go over the rear of the truck, um, factory headlights, then paint matched border all the way around, tinted, um, nothing special. Third brake light is done too. Um, obviously you can tell the rear bumper is painted, sandblast is painted and cleared. I have a three inch leveling kit on here, Cognito, um, upper control arms, Fox 2.0 shocks. I believe just the upper control arms and the torsion keys now are right around thousand twelve hundred bucks. The shocks, Fox 2.0s, are about eight hundred bucks, I believe, depending on where you buy them from. Um, lighting, I have another video on my channel about that, but uh, I did fast cab lights. I think they're two hundred bucks roughly if you retrofit them yourself. And the Boost Auto Parts switchback mirrors, I think they're 200 or 250. Um, I got a stainless steel tip for the rear, for the exhaust. Um, by no means this truck is finished or this is just a standard build. This is nothing special. Um, so you're looking at, I'd have to add it up. I'll put a number up here on the screen. Um, but this is just your run-of-the-mill starter kit. There's nothing special about this truck. Um, I drive it a lot. I don't daily drive it, but I drive it a lot. Um, is it financially smart? Probably not, but I really don't care. I enjoy it. It's fun going to shows, fun hanging out with your buddies, doing things. Um, that's worth more than the money to me. Um, thanks for watching. I appreciate it.